Good morning from Ludington, Michigan. Today we're going to be taking the SS Badger car ferry across Lake Michigan from Ludington to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us. When boarding the SS Badger, you will notice there are a couple sets of stairs that do need to be traversed. Not to worry, if there is a chairlift available. Once boarding is finished, you can make your way to the back of the ship and uh, enjoy the, uh, the workers bringing on the cars. That whole process is quite fascinating. So first off, how about that for an on-time departure? Actually, a couple minutes early. Bravo, SS Badger. Well done. And as we watch the Seagate come down, isn't that cool? Awesome. Awesome ship. All right, now let's enjoy some sights and sounds as we sail out of Ludington. Okay, let's say we take this opportunity to do a little inside exploring here. And here we are at the gaming lounge slash kid hangout area. And we've got some cool Pac-Mans. Can't go wrong with some Pac-Man action, multiple games. You know, one of those deals where you have all those titles to choose from. We've got some decorations on the walls. Let's go Lions, good year this year. Death Star, Packers. I mean, you gotta have the Packers. Represent Wisconsin. And here we have the movie lounge. That's right, the Badger has its own little movie theater with multiple seats comfy seats and let's kind of let's show you we'll go right here in the middle we'll go this one oh there we go folks movie theater action it works i think they show two movies for sailing yeah overview of the uh, museum here on the Badger. They hit you with a little museum action. And these, these seats, these, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. They're old school too. They're old school. They're cool. Cool room. Cool museum. Cool ship. Shop in action. Big shop. Lots of action. Lots of t-shirts. All right, a little price action. Not too bad. I gotta tell you, shirt feels pretty good. Nice quality. Looks like we have some hoodies too. Of 
variety of colors, prints. Not bad prices. Kind of a cool looking sweatshirt here. I like it. I think it's for ladies though. Bathroom action on the Badger. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. This will work, huh? And the films today. And these are also games that you can ask for and borrow for free on the ship, which is awesome. All right, people, we got like some map here situation, live, some other ships here. That's right there, that's us. All right, people, here's a little look-see right about in the middle of Lake Michigan. We got nothing, nothing around. Agua. Let's go the other way. Yeah. Ocean like situations. Lake style. Unsalted. Really, the gorgeous day. I mean, we've got to have, you know, maybe a foot, two at the most, but beautiful, beautiful. Not a lot of chop. Nice, calm, calm day. All right, time for a little fun stuff. Right there, those are rails. This used to carry train cars, and that is actually why ferries have the name car ferries. Not for automobiles, but train cars that they used to be able to carry right there. We'd back them on. There you go. The more you know. Land ho. That way. That'd be Wisconsin. Good afternoon, passengers, and welcome to Now with this being a steamship built in 1952, I'm gonna tell you that the docking process is very, very interesting. Uh, it's a very detailed, interesting process. Um, it, it's, it's best to be experienced and doing so at the back of the ship. It's, it's a fun, fun experience to behold. Again, what an absolutely brilliant and skillful, skillful job of docking by everyone involved. It's absolutely amazing and mind-boggling to me. Again, with this, the ship from 1952 able to dock it the way they do. And for everything just held in place by a couple of pins. Very cool. But now that you're here in Manitowoc, you can enjoy your weekend. Let the 48 hours of fun begin.
Well, look at the ship lean. So he's walking down the hallway to show you. I don't know if you can tell, but we have a nice good lean going as we're loading up. Kind of getting heavier on one side than the other, but I'm sure they're gonna balance it out. Fun stuff, car ferry situations. All these are private rooms too. So they have like uh, two beds and a bathroom in them. Just filled with them. So this is an option for you. If you want to get a little shut eye, uh, they do have a Murphy bed. So there's another bed here. So there's two beds. You have a window, which you can peek out. And another, another super awesome thing. You have your sink and it looks like you have your own, your own restroom as well. One fun, fun fact is that there's a skeleton key that you get and you get to use it if you have your own stateroom. All right, people, we got some food situations. Look at that, some hot dogs, nachos. We got a pretzel, popcorn, right? And more popcorn. All right, people, it's ketchup. Deal with it. Yet again, you know I like ketchup and hot dogs. Deal with it. Delicious. Hot dog salt. Food options abound. There are plentiful food options from like nice sandwiches, like ham and Swiss style sandwiches. They've got like parfaits, they've got salads, hot dogs, brats, chips, cheese, you know, pretzels, the whole nine yards. It's uh, it's kind of like going to like a, uh, a sporting event. Uh, I think that, but better prices. Now the Upper Deck Cafe does operate a pretty swanky looking uh, breakfast buffet that you might want to hit up. I kind of kind of regret not doing that, but we we ate really well leaving the house. So, but next time, gonna do it. I'd like to take this opportunity to draw your attention to the color difference between the channel that we're going through and Lake Michigan itself. Now, Lake Michigan actually has some beautiful, beautiful water, some gorgeous greens and turquoises, and of course, blues. And I believe that this kind of helps to highlight that as well. Look, look at this water. This is good. This is not the Caribbean. It's so green. It's Lake Michigan. As we embark on a lap around the upper deck here of the SS Badger, we're going to go over a little bit of facts. Now, one lap, actually six laps rather, is one mile. Um, so the SS Badger, she actually connects Highway 10 on both sides of the lake. Uh, she's a national historic landmark, 410 feet long, can carry over 600 passengers, can carry over 150 vehicles and she operates in both the eastern and central time zones. Now some more interesting information is as you may have noticed at the docks in Ludington there was the sister ship the Spartan uh, to the Badger. Now the Spartan is currently used for uh, to take uh, it helps with the repairs of the Badger. So if they need pieces or parts, uh, since they just can't make them new, they'll go and they'll they'll salvage them from the Spartan. So it kind of serves as as the uh, the parts ship, if you will, to the Badger. Thought that was pretty cool. 
All right, just about done with our lap around, but I did notice that there's a lot of people sitting out on some chairs and whatnot along the sides. That's kind of nice. Might have to do that up next time. Seems like a relaxing way to go about it, especially on a nice day. All the way up front, we've got a cool little viewing platform. Yeah, binoculars. A little bridge action for you people. Watching the watchers. Getting things done. All right, so it's kind of funny because even before we get on the ship, we heard about Badger Bingo and about how it's like a must do. <laughs> We're like, Badger Bingo, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We did it. <laughs> Badger Bingo's amazing. Mad, mad prop. Shout out to the Badger Bingo lady. She's on fire. She is so hilarious. <laughs> But Badger Bingo was fun. We got a couple of wins out of the group. So that was that that made the trip even better. You're welcome. Yeah. She's Here is a kid's activity book that they get when they board the Badger. They have an awesome coloring contest. So do your best coloring and you can win a prize. You turn it in to the cruise director's office when you're all finished. They also have another fun thing on top of coloring. They have a scavenger hunt. So you look around the ship to find seven different things and then also return it to the cruise director's office to receive a prize. Super fun booklet. Lots of activities for the kiddos. For the adults on the way back, they had the bar up top opened and then they had some live music. We had some guitar situations going on. It was amazing. The drink was really, really good and the price was pretty, pretty good. Michigan situations right there. Michigan. Arrived in Lunnington at the end of the journey. Look at all the fishermen, fisher people fishing. You think they caught a good time? Nah, we caught that on the Badger. Yeah. All right, people, I just want to say that if you're thinking about planning a trip at all to Manitowoc or to Ludington, utilizing the Badger, just do it. It's an amazing, amazing ship. It's such a fun trip. You're going to have a great 48 hours. You're going to have an amazing weekend. This thing, this trip is made for weekends. And Manitowoc, they have tons of stuff to do. Ludington, tons of stuff to do. Great destinations on both sides of the lake. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, peeps. We really appreciate it. And until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.